County Fiscal Court to order. It is June the 26th at 5 p.m. I would ask that, uh, Sam, would you care to do the pledge or the prayer and the pledge and would you keep our judge in mind in your prayer? All bow our heads. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just ask for you to watch over us tonight, Lord, and be with us in the decisions we make. Lord Jesus, we just ask that you guide us in everything we do. And Lord, we just ask that you be with the with the judge as he's uh, incapacitated, Lord. Just You know the need, Lord. We just ask that you just bless him and watch over and take care of him. Lord Jesus, we just ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sam. Uh, the first uh, item of business is to prove the May 23rd, 2018 regular and special call minutes. So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. All disapproved. Motion passed. Guys, if you guys, if you've had a chance to look at the uh, bills and claims and transfers, uh, we'll give you a few minutes to do that. Questions about the uh, bills, claims, or transfers? And uh, if you've had enough time. I'll make a motion. There is a second. I'll second. Second to Joe Barnes. Motion by Sam. Any further discussion? Roll call on the rent. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Camp? Yes. Y'all had an opportunity to look at to approve the annual compensating schedule, which is what we do every year. Uh, do I hear a motion to Adopt. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Roll call Miranda. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barn? Yes. Camp? Yes. Uh, second reading of Ordinance 2018 4 has to deal with administrative code. Uh, my first reading has been approved. If, uh, and if I can have a second, uh, if I can have a motion on the second reading. I'll make a Joe Barnes made the motion. Second. Second to Larry Morphy. Any discussion? If not, Miranda? Morphy? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Count? Yes. We have a personnel issue. We need to go into closed session. Uh, and litigation, and possible also. litigation. Possible litigation. Uh, so, I mean, is, is this what? Uh, this, yeah. this, oh, this is the one that's to be around. Okay. <laughs> Under KRS 61 <coughs> 810, Section F. I make a motion. Joe Barnes made the motion. Second, Larry Morphew. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
passed. Do I hear a motion to go back into close so session? Open session. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Uh, uh, Aye. Motion did we want to do this personnel thing? Yes, please. It's just time to do it. Yep. All right. Uh, I want to bring up uh, Matthew Schaefer as a sub meal driver. He employed at the senior center uh, at a, rate, a pay rate of nine dollars and thirty-eight cents. I need a roll call. All right. Oh, she said effective date is five five twenty-five eighteen seven one two thousand eighteen effective date. Okay. And since I'm just substituting for the judge, uh, somebody give me a second on that. Second. Okay. And we got a vote. Markew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? And this is within her budget, her new budget, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just a sub. Okay. Yes. Count? Yes. Okay. okay. This is the uh, time of the year that we do our annual bids for our supplies and we need to uh, uh, take off with the contract tunnel. Well, we used to work at a china shop. Uh, contract hall and uh, and the stone. Sam, I think you have that. Can I make a motion we accept Martin Marietta for contract hall and stone? Do I hear second? I'll second. Any discussion? Roll call, my friend. Mark, you? Yes. Small? Yes. Barn? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We didn't have a bid on concrete mix or concrete replace, did we, Miranda? No. <clears throat> uh, Steel pipe and pipe bands. Joe, as we met earlier with our uh, public forum, uh, Joe, you decided to take that one? Yeah. different sizes. Road builders was cheaper on small on the small pipe and on the middle and the uh Wild County Farm and Garden was cheaper on the large size pipes. That is a motion? Yes. So there's a second. Second. Any discussion? If not, Miranda? More few? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Count. Yes. Uh, the next item is primer tack and RS2 oil, and Larry, I think you're up to bat on that. Yeah. Oh, you're not? Uh, I'll make a motion to set marathon oil. It was the only one. His only, his only big head yeah. yeah, I thought Larry was going to make it. Uh, you're here, sir. Second. Roll call, Miranda. More you? Yes. That's fine. Small? Yes. Bars? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We didn't have a uh, bid on diesel fuel or gasoline. Uh, the next item is blacktop. I think Larry's got the bids on it. Yeah, I've got a bid uh, from Scotty's per ton picked up at the vendor's yards, $52. Blacktop delivered, placed, and compact on various county roads. In all parts of the county, 61.90 a ton. And uh, from road builders, 
no bid on them picked up at the vendor's yard, but per ton put down, delivered at various roads in the county, 6915. What's your pleasure? Uh, if, did we decide we're going to step up this if they'll beat, beat the price or we're just going to do the one? Just going to step the one unless they come back and say they'll okay. meet. Like we did last year? Yeah. You might, I could ask, they're both here if they both agree with uh, No objection. No objection. You, you will meet it? Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion. No. Pardon the interruption. I think the court is setting a, a, a really bad precedent for doing that. Mm -hmm. I think you're setting yourself up to eliminate the need for anybody to pretend to be dead. You're asking all of your work, you know, not get bid item. You don't get a competitive bid, is what you're saying. You don't. If, if, if I know I can pay somebody's price, what, what is it in, in incentive for me to be paid to bid? I understand. I, I think you're going to drive your bid up. And, and just to be honest, from our standpoint, I, I would like you know, some sort of explanation why the court would even consider accepting multiple bids. You know, I, I, I'm over 10 percent cheaper. Um, is there a quality issue? You know, I don't think there's ever been a time that we haven't been here in a timely manner to do the work that you've asked us to do. I know we had an emergency situation on Hoopie Hill, and I had crews on the next day here earlier in the summer. I just, I would like a little bit of explanation if it, the court is going to make that decision. As, as to, uh, an explanation as to why. Well, if you put up an objection, then the court can't make that decision. I think, think that's to be agreed to. I think what it come up is it come up in discussion that that's what was ha that took right. place last year, yeah. and Scotty's didn't object to it, and so as long as they didn't object to it, you know they allowed it last year with the other contractor, but with an objection, we're not allowed to do that, right? No, you can. With Scotty's bid, one of the paragraphs within their bid indicates that the county can accept multiple bids so long as the multiple bidders accept the same price um, and under the same terms. And if they're willing to do that, you can. I'm not saying you have to, but you can if you so wish because it's within the bid made by Scotty's and the, the other company. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Well, what I would add, Justin, is that uh, but uh, Scotty's is objecting, so. In your advertisement for bid, if, if, if you don't mind, in your advertisement for bid, it says that multiple vendors may be awarded bids for categories offered at the same rate unless the bidder signifies that its bid is offered only on the condition that it consults with that bidder. And your, your bid didn't say that. I've got where you signed the bid, which indicates that multiple bids will be accepted so long as it's the same price and it's not stricken from the bid or anything of that nature. And so you, I think it was the obligation of Scott is now, again, I'm not saying whether you accept one or two or however many they accept. I'm just saying that Scott is, was under an obligation to indicate whether it's exclusive bid or not or whether you object to multiple bids. And, and on this one, it says the county, the county reserves the right to reject all bids or accept any bids. And it says that to accept any bid or multiple bids, um, that all terms are under the same price and any bidder shall have the right to amend his or her or its bid uh, consistent with the lowest and best bid submitted. Now again, you're, you're saying what you're saying is, even though it's stated on the advertisement for bid, I would have just explicitly stated that on my bid. If you want it to be exclusive, yes. So then would the need also arise for bidders to explicitly signify that they would drop their price to the lowest bid as well? No, the only thing that our notice says, because we got into a little bit of this this last year. I think our only, the only thing that our notice says is that if you do want to be exclusive, because some do, some are determining their price with regard to their bid based on some exclusive ability to do all of the work for the county. And so if you do wish to be exclusive, if, if you put that in the bid, then the court could not accept multiple bids in that situation because of your request if they wanted your bid. Now again, this court is under discretion too as to whether they wish to accept multiple bids or not because they may agree with your indication that I don't think it's a best policy uh, but the policy is more discretionary with the court as far as the notice and acceptance of the bids it seems to be allowed whether it's 
good business sense or not, I think it's discretionary. Well, it's the decision of the court. Like I said, I, I, I do think it's a, a bad precedent. I, I would agree with you. All right, well, it's the figures on that. Wasn't Scotty's several thousand dollars cheaper? About eight dollars a ton. Eight dollars a ton. About eight dollars a ton cheaper. Oh, okay. One of sixty dollars a ton. You know, that's so. But that would run into several thousand dollars. Yes. Well, it would, Ernie, but they're dropping their price to what Scotty's was, which I'm not. I'm not saying it's a good system, but they did that last year and they allowed it, and so that opened the door this year for that pop, you know, possibility. But Scotty's was the one that was cheaper on the initial bid. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going by the day. You know, that makes sense though it's cheap. But I thought I thought what we discussed was that if Scotty's couldn't get to it, then we could bring in if it's an emergency case. Yeah. Well, I mean if Scotty's couldn't get to the project then and they never then allow, allow, the, allow the competitor to come in. That's Scotty's price to pick it up. I thought that's what uh, we're talking about. Well, I don't know you have to ask Justin on that. I mean you could you could accept it under you could accept both bids if you wanted with the understanding that you're going to use Scotty's exclusively unless there is uh, an emergency situations that Scotty's couldn't meet it. I mean you could you could do that. You don't have to use the other bid unless it's a situation you felt as an emergency. Again, that's discretionary with the court. I think that was the reason we was going to do that because we're going to get a lot of black cop money we won't get until later on. And uh, Scotty's just tied up. We won't get the black cop this year. Uh, well, I don't, I mean, that, that, person, might, that might be what they're thinking. And now, I mean, I have not had that issue in the past, so I just, I don't want anybody to think that we've had that issue. Right. Is there yeah. a motion and second so we can still? We need a second. Yeah. Uh, well, it may die of likely a second. So if nobody seconds Larry's motion, he may have put another one on the floor. Do I have a second or not? What's his motion? To, to accept both bids. At the same price. Okay, failure to draw a second. Let's move back to square one. I swing except Scotty says so. Let's be it. Now, if you guys, I'm not, I'm not against having Scotty's and, and bringing in builders, but, but I want the builders only if Scotty can get to it. I'd be in favor of something like that. But I'm not in favor of taking two bids. So that's the whole purpose of the bidding process is try to get the cheapest for the counties. There's a clause already in there for that. If, and it's, it's another clause that's on your bid documents. It's oh, it's already in there? It's a situation that arises okay. that I can't get here in a timely manner. I'm to notify you all of that. Okay. That's, that's already I did. I, I'll withdraw that. Emergency case. Make an emotion that we do a low bid with Scotty's. Just Scotty's. Okay. Did you say just Scotty's? I'll second the yes. motion. Yeah. I'll second the motion. Any, any more discussion before who was supposed to be discussing without a second on the bill? Okay. Uh, a roll call, Grant. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Camp? Yes. Uh, equipment leasing? Joe, you got that one? Yes, I do. Uh, I just want to make a motion to accept ER contracting. Go here, second. Second. Motion to Joe Barnes, second to Sam Small. Uh, any discussion? If not, Miranda, would you do that? Morgan? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Count. Yes. Sam, you're up on plastic pipe. Uh, for the benefit of the court, we, we came in at 3 o'clock and we, we went over all these bids, and, and this is what's making it a little more faster as we, we can move along in regular court meetings. Go ahead, Sam. You, which one was it? Plastic pipe. I'll count the door. Uh, so it was number nine, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Number nine, did I move that we accept Ohio County Farm and Garden for plastic culverts? Your second. I'll second it then. Any discussion? Roll call, Miranda. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Count? Yes. 
Joe, you're up on the eating and air. And I'd like to motion to accept complete comfort. I think it was the only bid. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. Uh, any further discussion? You're up, Miranda. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Kim? Yes. And we also have ambulance service at the Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I forgot that. Are you got the. Uh, That's a hard one, too. How much bid? Yeah. We just got one bid, and it was from Comp Care at a price of. $10,762.50 per month. Per month. Amy, did you have something? Is there a requirement in there to purchase a new ambulance? You, just, you need to make note of that. Or I didn't says. look it over that well. Did the bid, did our bid spec say that? Uh, they yeah. typically put that in there. Uh, they sometimes they put that in there. We usually take it earlier, not with the rest of the... Yeah, if I made, the, instead of purchasing a new ambulance, there's, we're going to uh, repower one of the ones we have. Okay. So that's where that comes from. Okay. That's where that comes from. Typically, we do have to replace yeah. an ambulance, you're correct, but the fleet's in such good shape and you've got them so good to work with that we don't have to replace one this year, we're just going to repower it. You could have the about the cost. It's going to be between fifty and 55000 that does. Is that repowering a gas or a diesel? It's a diesel. So we, we can just note in the minutes of the amendment of their bid. Uh, you need to reboot markets while you're at it. So we'll, we'll do our best. <laughs> that's, that's a tall order there. <laughs> we'll give them a Have you all met John? Oh, okay. this is no, I don't guess we have. I'm sorry. My name is John Horn, the executive director of the ambulance service. Jim's still out of town, so I wanted to point to us come down and talk to you guys this evening. Yeah. Well, good to be on. Bring you on board. Good to have you. John. Uh, did I get a second? Like second. Who made the motion? I did. Okay. Larry made a motion. Larry Morphew, Joe Barnes second. Considering the amendments. Sam seconded. Considering whatever amendment was indicated there. Anyway, right? Okay. 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 Let uh, Miranda get that. Okay. It's just considering the amendment that was indicated. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Miranda. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we've got a few resolutions here to go through. Uh, resolution 2018-22, which has to deal with, uh, these are the roads that the, that the state is uh, blacktopping and we're bringing into the county road system. 2018-2022. Uh, um, do I hear a motion to take those in? I'll make a motion. Under condition that they make the specification. Well, I was going to get to that right. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the motion says that they agree to blacktop, save roads, and then they give them to the county. Okay, I make a motion that we accept the uh, resolution 22 under the conditions that they give us the. Uh, How much tons and the repairs that is going to be made to the road and that after inspection that that has been made let the motion reflect that then do it here second second any other discussion roll call Miranda Markew yes small yes Barnes yes yeah. do you want to um, yeah, I've got one here. Um, Wait till we get all to it. Who is rolling that motion in the state of Kentucky? Yeah. Well, let, let the motion reflect that then, if you don't care, Joe. When the judge returns for him to sign the uh, the resolutions, all four resolutions. Yeah, that will be fine with me. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, okay, the next one is uh, resolution 2018-23, which deals with Which bridge is it, Scott? Play Leach. Play Leach, okay. Go here, motion. 
So moved. I'll second. Motion made and second. Any discussion? Vote Moran. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 2018-24. Apple House. Apple House. Do I hear a motion? On resolution 2018-24. This is the one y'all said Jason was good with? He, he looked it over and I believe the judge did speak with the, uh, Nick Hall over the transportation cabinet with the social media review and they came to an agreement. As far as I'm aware. Now the only thing is we don't know what agreement they came to so I'd like to move. Like I'd like to reflect that in the motion if I was going to make them since I don't know what agreement they came to. I'd rather not make the motion. Uh, upon the motion should reflect then upon. Do we want to do that? Acceptance we, we of the table at one to the next meeting. Where we can. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Larry, since you didn't get us. I, I don't think the judge wanted to table that. Would you like me to call him in the meeting? The one we need to check it, Jason. Yeah. Me, Jason. Yeah, call Jason. See, if, see what he meant. See if he had any problem, and we will uh, we'll move on to the next one. Anyway, but we'll just wait for not to be Discussion on 2018-24 resolution. If not, Miranda. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Count. Yes. And the last one is 2018-27, which has to do with uh, Combs Bridge Road. Uh, the county taking the uh, right away of the bridge. right away of the bridge back into the county, and uh, Sam, that connects you and I. So if you make a motion, then I'll say. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Uh, roll call, Miranda. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, next order of business is uh, committee reports. We had road committees. Anything, uh, any of the matches want to discuss about it? If not, does any county officials have anything that they want to talk about? Go ahead, Tracy. Yeah. Man, I don't see the sheriff on here anywhere, but I'll write him. I'll pencil him. Yeah, pencil him in. Yeah, I tried to call, but we just had some miscommunication. <clears throat> Guys, tonight I have a, a few items that I'd like to declare a surplus. <clears throat> they are actual seized vehicle that we have through our drug fund. Um, I'm going to pass these out to you here. You said that name goes back with our district. Well, I thought y'all said maybe Larry did oh. something I couldn't remember. I don't know what I'm saying. From how many vehicles do you have? We've just got two right now. Uh, 
but I'll, I'll get into a few more here just shortly. Um, we've got some surplus vehicles from the military that I screened early in my term as sheriff, and those vehicles are uh, able to be sold now. And what I would ask the court to do would be to let me roll those vehicles into a capital outlay fund in my budget for next year for purchase of some new police vehicles. Uh, that way we uh, wouldn't ask for any out of our needs assessment. And these vehicles are in your department now and you've been doing the maintenance and everything on them? Yes. The, well, these one of these vehicles we have used as a undercover by car. One of the vehicles has just been confiscated in a drug raid that we had. Uh, the one that is has been used by our detective would have to go into our capital outlay because the auditors have told me that anything that we use uh, in our operations here can't go back into my drug fund. Even though we seized it through drug operations, we used it, it has to go back into the general fund. So I'm asking you to, if we could roll that one when we sell it into that capital outlay line item in my budget for next year. Which one is that? That would be the uh, uh, Lincoln Silver uh, 1LNHM86S73Y666014. I'll make a motion. You, you don't want to roll both of them in? Well, the other one, I would like for it to go into my uh, drug fund because we seized it through drug operations. We had money tied up. Uh, in this drug buy that needs to be replenished so we can fight those drug crimes here. Okay. Joe, so let's do let's them <coughs> individually if you want to. Yeah. Man. Okay. Go ahead. The 2003 Lexus would be the one with, that I'd like to roll into my drug fund. All right. Well, I'll start with it. I'll make a motion the 2003 Lexus is rolled into the Sheriff's Drug Fund. Motion by Joe Barnes. Just declare it surplus. Uh, declare it surplus. Yeah. So second by Sam Small. Any discussion? If not, Miranda, would you do a roll call for us? Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when we make a motion on this one, do we need to put it in there that it specifies where it goes? Yeah. Joe's motion should reflect that rollover in the surplus and then yeah. it's rolled over. Got you got to do it in one or you have to do it in two? Do we have to do it in two? Oh, yeah. Do we okay. have to do it in two motion? No, no, no. I think that, we're just doing the two motion. separate vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, two now this is this is surplus here, Joe. If you want to entertain another motion. Okay. Now I make a motion that the the Lincoln. Uh, I don't know what year. It's a, uh, that I've been handed here on this paper. Looks like it's to be deemed surplus, and then is rolled into two capital out three. capital outlay. What you want to put in? Yes. Yes. And rode into the capital outlay account. Okay, I have a motion and a second. I was busy reading something. Busy, uh, motion and a second. Uh, any other discussion? If not, Miranda? Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Papers, no, sir. You've got to keep them on your copies. Larry, the next thing I have uh, on the agenda, I, again, I screened a lot of surplus property from the military. Uh, here in the last couple, two years, we haven't gotten much, but I, when I first came into office, we screened a lot of equipment. Uh, some of those things we used to uh, maintain our uh, evidence lot out at the uh, the park. Uh, we use some to help build a, a range so we can shoot. Uh, I've got some dump trucks, semi trucks, uh, some gators, older <coughs> equipment uh, that will bring a pretty good uh, pretty good amount I think. Uh, I would ask the court to declare, and I have a list of what I have here, that to be surplus property 
I'd like it again to be rolled into that capital outlay so we could buy some police vehicles with it and uh, maintain our, uh, our fleet or whatever we need to do for our, our police vehicles. Do you have a list of that properties? We used to, yes sir, we used to roll this into our uh, uh, drug fund, but... Uh, so did you buy these? Vehicles? No, actually they were free items that we received from uh, uh, from the military. So let me ask you something. Uh, in one of our conferences they come up with that, you had to get permission to sell them. Yes, anything that's on this list that I'm showing you has been cleared through the military to say it. Okay. Now I have other, you'll see that I've marked out some other items on here. Right. Uh, they are either items that we're still using, that we utilize, or uh, it's not been cleared through the military for us to sell. Right. Um, anything that you see that's assigned on there, <laughs> is property that we can't sell. Didn't give any detail. Uh, that's over in that far right hand column. Uh, so just the ones here that's listed, like the truck cargo. Yes, anything that you can read that I haven't marked through, that's all items that we would like to surplus. Do we need to do these individual, Larry? Or do we yeah, they probably ought to be put into motion individually. So we. Well, the first motion is. I mean, we could do them all together. Yeah. But we need to name everyone. Name everyone. Of them, I would oh, say so. Registration right. number. The, uh, if you look at that uh, second number in that second or fourth column there, that will be the KY number that the military tracks back through our system if we could use those numbers. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that up to Miranda to uh, write that number down. Okay. But the first thing is a truck cargo. Well, we got seven, seven of them, Tracy. I think so. Then we have a number and then a yes. utility support. Okay. And again, uh, motorized cart, dump truck, uh, die generator set, a mule. Huh? Hope it don't eat much. <laughs> and a, a tractor truck. <laughs> and a truck truck. And if you would please, Miranda, write them numbers down in the. When you make them, when you make them, or did you make the motion, Sam? I did. Do I have a second? I'll second it then. That's the ground circle. Uh, motion and second. Are these the, I have a question while we're Okay, go ahead and discussion. These dates over here, is that the date of the vehicle? Uh, the, the date acquired, I'm going to the say. The date acquired? Yes. yes. Uh, Anything? 2016? Yes. 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 Okay. Any more discussion? If not, Miranda. Matthew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Count. Yes. Anyone? You got something else? Yes, us? two more items, Larry. Uh, the next thing what I'd like to ask the court, um, we've kind of tightened our belt through the year and only bought things that are, have been necessities for us so that we can, at the end of the year, uh, ask if we can roll our surplus over into that capital outlay to buy police vehicles with. Um, I, I've just estimated my budget of what I thought might be left in there uh, through uh, our line items, uh, our salary that was left over, and our retirement that, that we save. We have several officers that we don't pay retirement into the state, and that saves us a whole lot of money. I'm asking the court to roll that money into a capital outlay with, with whatever else I can sell here to buy police vehicles. Uh, like I did last year, I think I had about 90000 last year that we rolled into that capital outlay uh, this year, and I, this is an estimate, and I haven't talked with Ann, and she probably doesn't even know yet. She's probably still crunching numbers. Uh, but I'm estimating about uh, between me and my 911 center, I, I think about $88,000. And I would ask the court to roll those two remaining budgets into this capital outlay so we can buy some police vehicles to replenish what we have. Let, so me, uh, let me ask uh, so we rolled the, you know, we rolled the surplus vehicles into the capital outlay, and we're going to roll the over. 
Yes. We have left. Yes. Let me let me ask Dan a question. When we when we did our budget, did we take excess fees from the sheriff and clerk and different ones? Have they been have they been rolled in the next in the future budget? They Does any of this uh, payroll? Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm going to. My estimate was about thirty. Around thirty thousand dollars. Let me ask you something, uh, Tracy. Do you think do you think uh, that these monies, when we roll into this account, do you think that'll suffice uh, for all the cars that you need in the upcoming year? Yes. But the reason I ask that is because our budget's pretty lean. Yes. And uh, and so I know just, we've asked for some through needs assessment, and we would strike whatever we have in needs assessment, and this this capital outlay would would supply that car need, this vehicle need we, we have for our patrol units. Uh, and I would assure you- used for automobiles? Yes, purchase. I assure you that it only be used for automobiles uh, and equipment for those automobiles, which is very expensive, about $7,000 per car. And there won't be nothing on the needs assessment? And there won't be anything on the needs how many, assessment? How many cars are you looking at? I'm gonna say we need about four to keep that fleet replenished. Uh, and I hope to maybe even some of the higher mile cars we've got now, which are 2015s with 90,000 miles, I hope we can surplus those if, I mean, we need a few spares. We've got some older spares that are in very bad shape, uh, which are 2011 models, some of them older than that, uh, that are not very safe to be operating on the road. I hope to keep, you know, one or two decent spares so one another will get rid of the one right thing. yeah yeah are you not are you going to run into since some of this is left over from payroll and everything are you not are you going to run into an issue where you need to add a, a uh, officer or next year we may look at if you put it in this capital outlay are you going to be able to pull from that capital outlay uh, if you have those needs i don't think we can pull from line items into salary Am I correct on that, Ann? You're correct. So, so I'm transfer. Your budget transfer. sets your salary. You'd have to budget transfer. In January, you all set a, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's your annual schedule of what you all allow the court. So you would have to amend that. He can't move money up into that. In January, you tell him what he has to spend for the year. So even if we made a motion now to even you would have to amend it which i'm going to have to amend it in july because the retirement went up in the cpi so so if we put a, a motion that's what i was worried about if you put all this money that you have left over and you, you've got you come up short because of the retirement are you going to be able to pull from this because yeah. i know there were some questions about you mean in next year's budget this coming this yeah. coming year's budget yeah. We, we've looked at the numbers and we think we're going to be okay. Uh, I mean, you never know. There's right. overtime and, and issues that come up, uh, but we, we project that we're going to be okay. Uh, with what, and we've cut here and there and uh, tried to make all that fit and has worked very hard to make sure that we can make everything work. So and we've sat down together and we think it will. Do you think you ought to put any in that just in case? But just like Larry said, the budget's tight here. Could, can we make a motion that that be allowed to to supplement salaries if in case we did need that? You would have to amend your annual standing order as to what. That that would have to be amended so each you, time. So it you're saying no, we couldn't do the amendment? A motion wouldn't do it. That, that order has to be amended. Which we're going to amend anyway. July because of the it, retirement. It, of course, it's certainly up to y'all. It um, might be wait till it, let's get the fiscal year ended and see where we're at because we had such tremendous budget shortfalls on you know several accounts <coughs> just to see where we're, the big picture is. But that's up to you all. You know what you want to do. Yeah. So we could table this tonight mm -hmm. till the next meeting. Uh, by the next meeting, we'll have the fiscal year ended and we'll know exactly where we're at. Wouldn't we coming up short in 911, but now we've got money left over? Well, we're going to be really close. Our line items, we, we stopped spending in there just 
just to make sure. But right. we're going to be pretty close, I think, in 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 salaries. Uh, I don't think we're going to go over. Nine one one. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was within. Do you have an issue there. with laying this over to? I'm to sorry. Team? Do you have an issue with laying this over to? No, know? I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm good with that. And, and, no, and we're no, going to. We we're we're going to determine what at this next meeting. Why are, uh, we, why are we laying it over? I, I'm well, just trying to catch up with you. We, we really need to get the fiscal year ended to see where we're at on the whole picture okay. with it. We had such tremendous budget shortfalls uh, this year that, that affects the big picture. Okay. I'm good with that. Okay. I, I'm just trying to save the money that we've tried to save to go over into those cars. I don't have uh, a, I appreciate that because, you know, we've talked about that before. If, 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 you know, some departments, if they're not going to get the money back for the next year, then, yeah. you know, what's the point? I, I could have, I could have blown this money on, on things that we, we could have used. You could have not necessities that we really needed, yeah. but things that we could use. So we, we've tried to tighten our belt and save money. Yeah. Cars it, take it's more tight, of, but cars take more of a priority. Yeah, and, and we need to keep our fleet up. We've got a good fleet of cars, and we, we try to service them regularly and take care of them. So, uh, But that's fine. We'll, if you guys want to talk about it next meeting, I'm good with that. Thank you, Jason. Uh The last thing I have uh, with my drug vehicles that I've been using, I want uh, to bid for a new vehicle out of my drug fund. That doesn't come from the court. I just need a a motion to accept bids on a new and, and we're going to look at a pickup truck uh, this time that maybe we can pass back down into our office uh, you know later on and, and utilize that so I'm, I'm I make that motion. Motion. Second. So now motion, motion to for bids on a, uh, what was just one pickup? Uh, yes. Pickup. Do I have a second? I second. Who seconded? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Uh, any further discussion for the sheriff? If not, Miranda. Thank you. Yes. Small. Yes. Far. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you all. I appreciate it. That's all I have. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Chris. Uh, we'll now go to the uh, magistrate's request, if any. Sam? Uh, no, sir. No, uh, setting yeah. judge. <laughs> <laughs> Joe? No, not at this time. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. Larry, don't have anything. I have one little item I'd like to. I had Ann to reprioritize the rural water line uh, fund and the prioritization of it. Uh, if, if between now and uh, our next regularly scheduled meeting, if you take a look at that and if you have something, uh, I've got some people down water. Uh, I've got East Davis County to commit some of the money to the projects, uh, may get some of the individuals on particular county roads to contribute, but but these are right down at the bottom of the list. If anybody has a problem, uh, or not a problem, but anybody needs a water line put in prior to these, uh, just let me know and we'll go from there. I do have something on that, Larry. Okay. Uh, and we need to go back and research it because this was done not in my term and I don't even know if it was done in the term before, but is there some that center town took yeah. on and paid for with the with the with the promise that the court was going to pay them back? Uh, I'll look at the motion. Richard Robinson, I think those water lines are already done. Yep. And Richard Robinson had told them that he would put it on there and if there was ever enough money, maybe they could get paid back for because you know i'm kind of getting it's more instead of just maybe that there might have been a motion well, and a promise yeah i remember asking him you know what if we don't ever have the money because it, it's a large amount have the money to pay it and he said well it's put on there it's not a guarantee okay but so they are on because you know we need to find out where we're at on that because you know we had talked about this once before there was a lot of projects that's been added here and then they're just sitting there we need to look at the prioritization and you know where we're at on those lists and clean them up so you know are we going to do that is it is it vital or 
I'm just kind of curious. Okay. Uh, if there's no more requests or whatever, is there uh, any questions from the audience or whatever? Any topic, any issue you want to bring before the court? If not, and Miranda, I hadn't forgotten anything, I would move we adjourn. Thank you.